Hey guys, Hugo Officials, and welcome back to yet another tutorial. I know it's been a while because I kind of got other contents to plan out for the next three weeks. So today we're going to do one of the most requested one, which is the drum boomerang, as you can see from the intro. Um, more and less, drum boomerang is actually quite simple. So all you need to do is actually put your drone camera fa uh, facing at you and just kind of fly back and kind of move upwards at the same time that's pretty much it and record it for about 30 seconds to a minute and you're pretty much good to go i think craig adams uh, and peter mckinnon actually made a separate version about drone boomerangs videos so i'll leave a link below so you can check them out as well but uh today we're going to do the hugo visuals way um okay so first of all when you're filming a drone boomerang uh, try to film about a minute long because that will make kind of the transition well, the fake transition we're gonna make to be a little bit more dramatic which is good but a lot of it is actually down to the editing and uh, this one because I'm using Premiere Pro so it can be a little bit more tricky to edit but once you know the workflow um, you can make a tons of them like I make them everywhere I go especially when I travel so to make it kind of a collection of it so enough of me talking let's jump in Adobe Premiere Pro to start. so here's a clip that I got from today it's a pretty sunny day and I managed to get one just before sunset so the whole video is, is actually just about 57 seconds and I already crop out all the awkward parts so always do that because you don't want to kind of slow down the boomerang and yeah that's basically it uh just a very straightforward video as you can see i just drag all the way back to about uh about 600 meters okay so let's get started to work the editing so what i always do start uh click on this time remapping run the fx and go on speed so what i like to do is actually uh go into uh you, you uh, just use shift and the right so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're ten frames in, and you use uh, the pen tool and drop point right here, and to the bottom. I mean, to the end of the clip, uh, do the same as well. Uh, okay, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So 10 frames in. So now we use uh, the normal mouse tool to drag all the way to a thousand. Okay, you might think this is probably done, but uh, we're gonna do the Hugo Visuals way because if you look at the boomerang, it's good, it's good. I mean, sorry for the lag, but uh, it's good, but it's nine, I mean, it's seven seconds and people I feel like people don't have time in order to watch a 7 second, well times 2, a 14 second drum boomerang, I, I, that's too long. So in order to do this, so what we do now is just drag this little tiny arrow, drag it a little bit up to make it kind of like a, like a shape like this. And we want to make it a little bit more curved, so it's kind of like a loop going on. So just follow my step. Um, I know I'm not really good with uh, Premiere Pro, but I'm doing my best to explain it. Um, okay, let's go on the time duration and go on optical flow. This is this, this will make the um, boomerang a bit more smoother. So now um, we're gonna nest the sequence again, and on top of it, we add another speed ramping again. So okay, nest the sequence, then we're gonna go again. 10 frames in, time remapping and click speed 
and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And, and again, use the pen tool to drop a point right here. If you, if you don't see it, just always can drag here and um, you can be able to point it more accurately. Okay, let's go on the bottom the end of the clip and do again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that would do anyway. Um, now we're going to drag it. Oh, so here's the thing do not go crazy with the speed run. You don't want it to be like too quick or like too slow. Just in the middle. So, what I did with my testing, I find about 160 to 170 is perfect. Uh, I mean 600 so uh, we're gonna go to about 600% for this one uh, I think this is pretty good for this kind of length of the video so 600 as you can see the clip is around 5 seconds which is good I mean a 10 second boomerang that's acceptable because people want to see um, what's actually what's going on in the boomerang so it's not too quick so again we're gonna drag these uh, little things out um, I'm going to make the boomerang a little bit more smoother so we're going to make them to a curve shape just follow what I do and let's see and go on the time interpretation interpolation uh, just go on to optical flow again okay um, let's see Whoa, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. So what I will do now is probably just uh, cropping those awkward parts. So I'm gonna delete two frames of these and to the bottom of the bottom. I mean to the end of the clip. Again, one, two. Okay. So now um, we're gonna copy this clip. So copy it and paste the clip next to it, oops, sorry that's, that's my next, uh, actually my edit is clip, and uh, let's paste it here, and drag it back, and what you do now is uh, you go into speed, speed duration, and you click whisper, uh, reverse speed, so reverse what is going on, so now you can see it's actually a boomerang. We're going to open a new sequence uh, for Instagram export settings. So you go on sequence and you go on settings because mine is shot on a 25 frame per second. So I'm going to give it 25 frame per second. Uh, yeah, and turn this one uh, into 1080 and 1350 or 1350 because the Instagram format is that's the best kind of so it's a 4x5 ratio. And you're going to go. And make sure you copy this two clip again and copy and paste and copy and paste again so it makes it about 18 seconds which is good oh so this is a fun part because you want to make this clip to fit the screen better it's a uh, 62.5 is actually the best ratio for this uh, screen so let's turn all the clips to 62.5 on the scale um, Okay, here we go. Okay, so because I'm not too experienced with color grading, so I'm not gonna go too deep inside it. But all I like to do is actually add like a adjustment layer. Uh, make sure it's actually 1080 and 1350, so 25 frames as well. Click OK. And then the drag it, put it above, and drag all the way to the end of the clip. And now you can just kind of add some contrast back, so plus 70, um, the highlights a bit too high, so drag it a little bit down, and the shadows minus 30, and go on the curve, and I'm just gonna create like a mini S shape to drag the kind of to bring the shadows and highlight back a little bit. Okay, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's the drum boomerang right here. Uh, okay, let me export it and you can see the end result of it. 
So um, when you export the clip, just go and export media. And um, here's some export settings for drone boomerangs for Instagram. Uh, so I always keep my frame rate 25, render at maximum depth. Make sure you click this because it produces better quality videos on the screen. So this one, you don't really have to touch anything, um, but here's the basically the most important part. So you wanted to be doing the VBR, two passes. And what we what I tested before, actually eight is actually the best for Instagram. Uh, you can go on six to eight, that's probably the best sweet spot for that kind of video. So keeping the size, file size about 80 megabytes, that's absolutely perfect. And let's export and that's pretty much done guys. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much it. I know I'm not really experienced with Premiere Pro, but I know a lot of you ask me how I edit those drone boom rigs. So this one hopefully will make you feel a little bit better. And I've already planned about three weeks of YouTube content. So uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.